Welcome, and uh, thank you for taking the time to speak with me today. So I am Aurélie Litinsky. I am a chief happiness officer, or you can call me happiness at work expert or positive work culture specialist. Uh, but in a few words, I support teams to create a positive work environment. And I touch topics such as positive psychology in business, happiness at work, team engagement, recognition, feedback culture, stress management, well-being. So I really help them to foster a positive work environment. And I work in different ways. I can do public speaking to create more awareness on the topic. I do webinars. I do workshops to deep dive on the topic. Um, and I do as well programs to really create a full program for sustainable results. My story is basically, before I started my business five years ago, I have a background in project management and event management, marketing and sales. And I was always the one to bring people together to work on the specific project. So we had to create a positive work environment. So along the year, I learned how to do that. But at the same time, I had different frustrations at work. And to be honest, I was always annoyed to see my leaders, to see my colleagues, um, not paying attention to their behaviors at work. They didn't pay attention that negativity was contagious uh, for us. So at one point, I was really annoyed and I had to do something. I wanted to focus on my strengths. So this is when I started to learn about positive psychology, to learn from top experts on happiness at work, neuroscience, to become myself an expert and to help the teams to create this positive culture in the workplace and minimize frustrations and turn their frustrations into more happiness. Because for me, happiness is definitely the basis in everything we do. Um, we have a tendency to focus on our happiness in our private life, and we have a tendency to forget to do that in our professional life, although that's the basis to feel good, to be creative, to be more productive. Happiness at work. <laughs> That's already three words. No, otherwise it could be, other keywords could be leading with positivity and creating a positive work culture. It's, it's not obvious for everyone to act with more positivity and to react in a positive way. So happiness is a skill we can learn, in fact, and a lot of people do not realize that. Um, Specific memory I have, um, it was after a six months leadership program, I received an SMS from a top leader in a company. And you know, leaders are not always easy to bring on board on this topic of happiness, positive culture, and this kind of, you know, not easy to tackle uh, topic in companies. So anyway, I received this SMS from, leader, from a top leader saying that working with me made him change his leadership style. He could see the results, of his positive behavior on, on his whole team. And for me, that was amazing to read that I didn't only teach one person to be positive and to bring more happiness in the workplace, but basically, you know, this person was contagious in a good way to the whole team and the whole team could benefit from his learning. I chose we went because first, uh, the co-founders are amazing. They are doing a great job. It's a great pl platform for the experts. We can learn from each other and they are organizing amazing events. 